Okay, so uh, I'm gonna rig you up a sturgeon set up here. Um, first of all, this is two of my four boxes of fishing gear that I got here. I got the whole drawer set up. One of uh, I've got two of these, one of these, and a smaller box uh, back up in there somewhere, probably behind the coolers. But anyway. Uh, this is the pole I use for sturgeon, but this isn't the reel that I use. Um, that's the reel I use for sturgeon fishing. It's a big old honker. It weighs about four pounds, five pounds. It uh, holds, uh, I think it says, 370 yards at uh, 100 pound test. So anyway, uh, I'm just gonna do this uh, on my little uh, ambassador here so you can see how I set it up. So I'm gonna set you down and, oh, and for, I couldn't find my uh, jellies so, this is our fish, just for uh, video purposes here. Got a little dorsal fin and back fin, and that's its mouth supposedly, but anyway, let's get started. Okay, so, first thing I do is I take this, uh, This slider, I'll show you what they look like. This is how I set up for sturgeon. Makes it so your uh, weight don't roll on the bottom, whatnot. So we got our slider here. Basically, this slides over the line. And you got a little uh, little swivel attachment there. So anyway, this will slide through your slider here. You make sure that the long, long end is uh, going to be towards the bait side of your line. Slide it through and just slide that up and just pull your line through until it's taut. Then we, uh, where did I put my swivel? My little swivy. Hold on here. Ah. Nuts. Just cut it off. Put it in my pocket. Yep. Okay, so take a hefty swivel, a nice big one, rated for 200 pounds or more. Um, and uh, you just tie your swivel on like you would normally tie any other swivel, just feed it through your line. Do your uh, five spin trick here. Three, four, five. Through the hoop. Through the loop. Pull the tag in tight. Got your swivel tied on. Next thing is, is your weight goes on your slider. So I got me a pyramid weight here. This is not nearly as heavy as I would use for the Columbia. I use uh, anywhere from 14 to 20. This is a, uh, I think a, yeah, an eight. So um, get that on your uh, slider that slides up and down your line now so when you cast that your bait your your uh, your uh, weight will fly forward and give you the momentum that you need at the end of your line and it will stop at the swivel like that and then when it hits the water your pyramid will sink in to the sand or whatever and get lodged in there and that will allow your bait to move 
uh, down to uh, with the current and sit in the current. Next, we take our uh, sturgeon leader. This is a hundred pound tough line. And <clears throat> what you do is next you just take it and I like to tie a little loop at the end and then that goes on your swivel end and then so that's how you're connected then you take your so-called fish and you go through the side You want to go all the way through the side and then up through the top of the skull and then pull your hook so it lays like that on the fish. So you're going through the side right here and then up through the top of the skull. And then you take your line and you make a loop like that so you go you grab it, twist it over, make a hole, go down through, and your half hitches sit on the side of your hook. So, bam, like that. And then you do that all the way down the fish. So you just take it, bam, bam, pull it tight, bam, pull it tight. This also makes it so you're kind of making a net over the fish. So you just basically do this all the way down. And the, those little uh, herring are, or anchovies are a lot smaller, but that's basically how you do it. And then when you get the tail, that's your last hitch. And because the tail will hold it. And then when this goes into the water, this is what you're, rig will look up, like when it's hanging from your line so you're bam and that's how I rig up for sturgeon right there it's a good way all right